Hi guys, my name's Chrissy and welcome to my channel today. Today we're doing a little uh, nighttime moon scene beginner's painting. Uh, I hope you enjoy this. It'd be a step by step tutorial. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a like, uh, consider subscribing, you can even share to your friends. Okay, let's carry on. So today I've got an 8x10 canvas board and I've got some materials out. I've got a little mister bottle. I've got some Mars Black, Ultramarine Blue, a little dobber thing I call them, a little sponge. I've got a number six round brush. I've got a number two liner brush, rigger brush, twiggy brush, whatever you want to call it. And I have a little blending brush here and a number two inch flat brush, which we're going to apply as background to. So we just move all them off for a sec. And we can get to the palette. Move that over there. So first of all, we need some ultramarine blue. So I've put some of that out. And this palette, nice little blob of that. And some Mars Black. Because we want a bit of a night scene. Put a bit of Mars Black out. I always get it on my hands. <laughs> occupational hazard so I'm going to miss this canvas it's going to help us with the blending okay as we go so we just want a little light mister bottle which is a fine mister I'm just going to lightly give it a mist and just dab off any access, excess water droplets try and get down to the bottom as well this will just help keep your paints from drying out on you because we're using acrylic paint and put that to one side. So I'm going to use my number two flat brush. I'm just going to wet the ends ever so slightly and then just dab off on my tissue and then go into my paint. So I want the ultramarine blue first and a tiny bit of black because we want it a bit dark at the top and as we come down it might just get a little bit lighter but we still want that nice night scene effect. So I'm going to apply this on right across the canvas board play it on and then just smooth it out when you're applying your paint you can go a bit heavier with your hand but for blending it out I'll just put some more black at the top we just want a smoother softer stroke and that'll blend your paints in nicely you can use a little egg stroke as well just to bring some of that darkness down into that blue so nice light hand for a nice soft blend. So now I want some more ultramarine blue and a tiny bit of black. Payne's grey would be nice for this as well, but I've actually made the Payne's grey by using the ultramarine blue and black. And don't forget to just give your canvas a little mist at the beginning. It will help you with your blending and you can take more time blending you're not worrying about it drying up on you yeah so I'll come right down to the bottom just do nice big bold strokes keep loading and a nice soft blend as we come up we've got that nice gradiated dark evening sky fill in the bottom just move my chalk so I'll end up painting it blue <laughs> As well as my fingers, never mind. All happy days. And then softly, just go across, back and forth, with a real light hand, just to smooth out any brush strokes that your brush has created, like so. I might even, while it's still wet, just go back in. I might just darken just the edges and come down a tiny little bit and just soft blend that in because it's still wet because we've misted it just to give that bit of extra darkness and then smooth it out again using a nice light hand across the painting I really like that it's a right nice sky Okay, so we've finished with that. We'll put that in water. Now you must dry this, guys, before we go on to the next scene. So 
So I'll just mute you and I'll give it a quick blow dry. Okay, that's nice and dry. So make sure it's nice and dry and use a cool heat on your painting because your acrylic paint doesn't like it hot. So I'm just going to put out a bit of titanium white. Just a little bit. And what I want to add is just a few stars in the distance. So I just have a little tool here, a little crafting tool, which have like little bowls on the end. So I'm going to use this and I'm just going to dip in to my titanium white. I'm just going to gently apply some little stars into the evening sky. Some just faded, some a bit more that you can see. It's entirely up to you how you arrange your stars. You just tend to dot them hither and dither. And you use the end of your brush also for this. And if you wanted a heavier application, you can always use a toothbrush also. But I just wanted to just an odd few little ones just dotted in the sky. Now I want to get me moon in before we put anything at the bottom. So I've just got here an old lid off a, a jar. I thought this will be perfect. So I'm going to apply that and I'm going to bring it down to the bottom because we're going to cover some of it up so it's just going to be peeping up through what we're going to put at the bottom. So I'm just going to draw around this circle with my chalk. just to get a nice guide that's okay happy with that so i'll put that to one side so we can leave him in or we can fill him in now so i think i'm going to fill him in now so i have one of these little tools a little dobbering tool it's just a little sponge on a on a stick so what i'm going to do is go into my titanium white bring it over here smooth like a little pile out if you will so you get an even coverage onto your tool, like so. Maybe a bit more at that side. All we're looking for is an even coverage onto your application tool. Now I haven't wetted or made it down, but it's a dry sponge. And I'm just going to come in and follow me circle that I've drawn in. And I'm just going to drag my little tool because the chalk mark we can erase that at a later date. It's just a nice little guide for us to get a nice rounded moon or sun, depending if you're doing a sun, it, you can do the same thing as doing a moon. I'll just follow my line, keep loading up. Down to the moon, fill that in nicely, just bring it down. Now like you say we're not going to see the bottom bit, so we don't really need to worry much about that bit. Now what I'm going to do is let that dry, and then we can put some like bits of crater stuff in as moon. So I'll just bob that in water for the moment, and then we're going to fill in this bottom bit. So I'm just going to use my little round brush. This is a number six round. So I want some ultramarine blue and I'm going to go into that black mixture and I'm just going to draw in just a rough sketch. These are going to be some like clouds and I want my moon to be peeping up doesn't matter if it's still wet, it'll just mix into your white, which is okay because it's going to be a bit lighter there anyway. But we need to come back and add some darker stuff. We have the black and the blue. We can do that. And I'm going to fill this in. Just keep going into your black and your blue just to darken this corner. Maybe dab into that lighter colour. That's why I left it uh, wet because it will pick up a bit of white and it'll automatically give you that highlighted effect that you're looking for because it's directly in front of the moon, yeah? So it would be a bit lighter. 
maybe come a bit higher there so yeah I think I'll come a bit higher maybe a bit higher on this side and just make them a bit irregular like cloud shapes are straight into your blue and your black and then we'll just fill this in at the bottom here scrub it all in with your cloud brush like so maybe darker under there and leave this bit a bit lighter and then you've just got a bit of shadows going on into your clouds so now we want to dry that again completely your moon and your dark bits of your clouds so i will do okay that's drying off so now you can get a little bit of tissue what i do just usually wet it with my finger at the end and then we can erase any chalk marks that we use to draw into the moon and just get rid of those and they're not as distracting so it doesn't have to be perfect but we've got a nice shape going on i think so that's cool right we want to add some little uh crater bits in this moon don't we so i'm going to wash that cloud brush that we had which is this one that number six and we want to make a gray just to add some uh, dimension into his moon so i'll put a bit more white out that's titanium white bring it over here and just pick a tiny bit of black up because black's really strong so just add a little bit at a time and we want like a mid-tone gray and we're just gonna dab on Maybe a little darker so it does show up a little bit. And we're going to just make some like fun little crater bits on this moon. You know when you look at the moon you see the little dark shadows in it don't you? So we're just looking for that effect. Maybe some down here. Maybe coming across. Like so, wipe my brush off just to get most of the paint off as I come down here. And you can add some more there. You could even give your moon another layer of white, you know, depending if you wanted it really bright. But I'm just showing you a nice, easy step by step way to create a nice moon, yeah. So I'm going to wipe that brush off completely on a tissue and I'll just soft blend. Some of them out leave some a bit harsher you know a bit more prominent entirely up to you and i'll go into my titanium white i'm just going to fill in just some more brighter spots i haven't washed my brush i've just wiped it off on the tissue so we'll just lighten it up a bit more and if you've gone a bit irregular with some shapes that you weren't happy with, this is the time to cover them up, yeah? Just keep doing that till you fill all your underlayering. And then we've got a nice brighter moon. Coming through. And you can even add some extra bright bits like you do with your clouds. Just to give it a bit more fun like so just dab on maybe a bit on this edge a bit lighter and that all just blends into a nice glowing moon so i'll just give that a quick wash now i want this little brush here this rigger brush or liner brush and I'm going to wet that and I'm going to go into some titanium white and I'm just going to mist my palette with a few squirts of water because I want it quite fluidy so it will come off my brush and I'm going to mix that in then roll my brush into the paint so you get a nice point on the tip. I'm just going to highlight the edges of my clouds that we put in earlier just to give them a bit of a glow 
keep reloading because it's only a little bit on the end of this brush that uh, picks up the paint so just remember to keep to you know load your brush up so we've got some nice light edges going round as clouds which is always fun to do it's always fun to create stuff like this maybe some going off there maybe one just here say that's just giving you some nice cloud shapes and a bit of a glow I'm going to wash that off I think I want a bit of a tree coming up here so same principle again I'm going to stick with this brush a few squirts of water and then I'm going to go into my black roll that in you want it not too runny but like creamy consistency and water's fine for this method so just use water and I think I'm going to have a bit of a tree here so I'm going to start from the top I think I want it somewhere here and I'm just going to lightly touch my canvas because it's skinny at the top so light pressure and as we come down I'm just going to push a bit harder and wriggle my brush to the bottom like so all the way to the bottom of your canvas so we've got a bird's eye view we're looking up at this moon and we've got this lovely tree as a silhouette now branches i'll do the same principle i'm going to start here and i'm going to wriggle your brush and as i get to the end i'm going to use a really light pressure so a bit firmer at the bottom so with thicker branches and as you come out lift off with your light hand so press it down wriggle 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 then up and then let go yeah and get that nice little flick at the end press it down wriggle then lift it up press down a nice wriggle get some irregular shapes going on because the nature at the end of the day all all trees you know they're not perfect you might have a, a little of a wonky branch coming off there maybe one coming up and maybe coming off and going down that way and we'll just put some little twiggy things at the edges so remember a light pressure and you get a nice twiggy effect at the end you can just flick them on And you've created a beautiful little scene. And a few little twiggy bits there. And maybe one coming down there. So do this an extra one because it's looking a bit lonely. <laughs> and I'm just going to add some distant birds flying across. So just little V shapes. This will add some interest into your artwork. Maybe some going that way, like so. Maybe one here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do a lucky seven, shall we? Yeah. Lucky seven. There you go. So that's it, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this beautiful sun, uh, sun. Well, it's not sunlit. Evening moon evening moon with few clouds and a tree and some lovely stars going on in the background so if you enjoyed this tutorial please like subscribe and share with your friends by all means and also I live stream every Thursday on this channel at 7 p.m uk time so you can pop in the live chat you can ask me questions I'll answer you also you can leave, leave a comment in the description box and uh, I'll get back to you there also and we have a Facebook group as well over on Facebook. I'll put the links in the description below. You can join that by all means. We're all friendly in there and we have great help tips and all sorts going on in there. It's great fun. So thanks for joining me guys and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.